everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Emily I'm a mom who loves home decor thrifting and a good DIY project I am so excited because today I am sharing with you my living room slash kind of dining room makeover process we can call it a living room refresh call it whatever you want but I feel like it's a bit of a makeover but I had so much fun working on this makeover it kind of transpired over a couple of weeks so I filmed everything very vlog style and kind of updated you guys as I go before I get ahead of myself this video is in partnership with article furniture if you guys have been following my channel for a while you guys know I love article I have loved their pieces in my home we are going to be getting two pieces from them a new couch and a beautiful sideboard I feel like a lot of people are gonna ask so the reason we wanted to get a new couch is simply I wanted something that was a little bit bigger and just a little bit deeper just to accommodate the family since we got that couch we do have another member of our family so we're a family of four and our space is still a little too small for a sectional but I liked that this couch gave us a little bit more length and a little bit more depth just to you know fit more of the fam that is the reason for the new couch I'll talk more about the pieces later but I did want to say that because I knew I was gonna get lots of questions about that let's start with clip number one <laughs> this was like a month ago and we got a brand new mirror I wanted to show you this mirror that I just got from HomeSense for $40 now that seemed like a steal of deal <laughs> to me. I don't know if you guys know like cheap places to buy mirrors, but $40 seemed like so good. The reason I'm so excited about it is because it's an arched mirror. Before I share anything else in the room that I'm gonna do, I am just filming this video chronologically. The first thing <laughs> that I'm switching out is my mirror. We have had this round mirror for years, years and years. It's a great mirror. We're definitely keeping it but I just thought it was time for a fun switch. So you guys will get a look at this mirror in a second. remember this little hanging light I DIY'd about a year ago well I'm going to keep the light I wanted to switch up the look a little bit and we are going to add this basket I got this cute little basket from HomeSense so we're gonna cut off the handles and probably cut a little hole in the top yeah I'll probably have to remove the rings we'll see how it goes these will come off pretty easily we'll have to see with this one part through here so I have to figure out where I want to cut probably just this one right here one piece of furniture we wanted to DIY was I had this idea to make a bench coffee table that would be the way to describe it we have a really small home if you don't know we live in a 700 square foot basement suite so it's pretty small we've chosen to never have a coffee table but you know I I was feeling like maybe we could have a coffee table and I wanted it to be like a bench coffee table because I thought what if it's small and bench like <laughs> but still kind of serving this purpose so I was browsing Pinterest, coming up with ideas, and I was sending pictures to my husband, and I kind of came across like these images for like inspo. I was thinking kind of farmhouse-y. I wanted something that was still bringing in like a rustic old vibe. My husband built me 
my coffee table bench and here's the whole process. So this isn't going to be a in-depth tutorial. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what we did, but my husband got a bunch of scrap wood from his work, which is really awesome because this bench did not cost us anything except for buying stain. He cut everything down to size. Then he went in and secured the top. Of course, he had a little helper the whole time. One thing I really wanted was the legs to be cut at an angle so that they kind of like went out to the side if that makes sense so you know I'm just giving my husband more work but he made it happen and I guess it was really easy to do anyways so this bench is just really really basic he did do a cross beam right here you'll see that we're kind of banging on it giving it some nicks and dents to just add some character so it doesn't look so perfect I did then of course sand everything down so it's smooth and we wouldn't get any cuts or splinters. Came time for me to stain this bench. He had built it for me, it was looking great. I was searching like stain colors, kind of watched some tutorials, looked at stuff. I thought I knew what to do, but let me tell you, I got it wrong. <laughs> So we went through, I went through a whole process of staining this bench. I don't even want to get into it, guys. But <laughs> it turned out looking purple. Like, so purple. Which was not the look I was going for. So we had to sand the whole thing down. Which, don't you love that about DIYs? You're like, it could have been done. It was almost done. And now we just added so much more work. For anybody wondering, the perfect kind of farmhousey wood color stain, I used Early American, which is like the main thing. And what you do is you only get a little bit on like your sponge or your rag or whatever you're using to stain and you really like spread it out. So don't like slather it on um, and actually I follow a girl on Instagram Angela Rose home and she used this and I watched one of her little highlights and that's where I learned all this so go give her a follow if you don't already and then I went in with weathered oak on top now to be honest I don't really think the weathered oak made a difference and I wonder if I would have done like a mixture from the start if that would have like made a difference. With the first attempt, I did a mixture. So I was like afraid to do a mixture, but you know what? In the future, I definitely would wanna play around with like a mixture of weathered oak and early American and kind of see how that looks. You will see the finished product in this reveal at the end. Since I saw you last, you guys saw us put up the mirror, but one thing that changed is that we took our shelf down. Well, actually our landlord <laughs> took our shelf down I feel like that's gonna be controversial because one of the number one things people compliment me on in like um, our living room photos of the years is always our shelf. <laughs> I wanna tell you guys the living room plan. With the shelf gone, we can actually put a sideboard all along this wall and have so much more storage. The couch we're getting is a bigger couch so it is going to go along this wall. I know we had our couch along this wall for a long time, but it really is my favorite setup for the room. Couch along here, sideboard along this wall, lots of storage. We're going to put the tree over in the corner. We're gonna see how that all works out. And then I think we're getting rid of our chair. So that is the plan. Okay, our article of furniture has arrived. So while we are setting it up, let me tell you guys a little bit more about article. I love that article has always made it so easy for me to have a beautiful, stunning, modern living room simply by adding their gorgeous pieces of furniture to our home. I love that their furniture is high quality, great prices, designs that last. You can still shop with article online and they're shipping with contactless delivery right now to ensure everyone stays safe. In-stock items are delivering fast with estimated times on each product page. Article also ships anywhere in the US and Canada for a flat rate fee of $49, free shipping on orders over $999. This sofa that we got is the Sitka Mist Gray Sofa. It is stunning. It actually comes in a handful of colors. 
It is so comfortable. It has wide arms and cushions that sink in really deep. Comes with these pillows that just add that extra comfort. It has loose reversible cushions with removable covers for the seats and the back, which is super great <laughs> for families. Now, we also got the dreamiest Kieran Oak sideboard. You guys, I must have seen this sideboard when I was browsing Article's website like months and months back and my jaw dropped. I'm absolutely in love with this sideboard. It's my dream sideboard. It has soft closing drawers, which we love for the boys. Actually, all the boys art supplies and games are stored in it. So we love that little fingers won't be smashed. It has these leather poles, which I love, adjustable shelves on the inside. It also comes with wall mount brackets. I'm in love with the clean lines, this oak color, this sideboard exceeded my expectations. We are having a dilemma, <laughs> a big dilemma. How I envisioned the layout is not going to work. I didn't take into account how deep this couch is and it is so comfy and so nice. And the fact that it's deep is amazing. But of course I didn't measure that fact. And when I had it, I can kind of show you guys, but when we had it against the wall and then the sideboard here, the couch was like hiding half of the sideboard because there was only like this little gap in between. Does that make sense? I can try and show you guys. Now we're trying different layouts. We're very like limited in our little space. We're just like brainstorming. We just need to make it work. So this is the current layout we just tried out with the sideboard there, <laughs> the couch back where the couch was. Now it kind of looks fine from this angle, but what I never really love is this fireplace situation that of course is a part of our rental. There's nothing really we can do about that. It serves a purpose. So this fireplace is cramping my vibe. Um, and yeah, I'm just not a fan of the like yeah. sideboard situation happening. I'm currently trying to pick a print that is actually going to go in this thrifted frame. So, um, this is a great little shop that I've used before. So I'm gonna look around and see what I want. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go to Vintage Landscapes. Okay. Yeah, I've looked through this before. I know I like this. That'd be kind of good. Um, yeah. But I also like, oh, honestly, there's, there's too many good ones. We'll see what we pick. I'm not gonna lie. I had a vision for this room. I thought the sideboard was gonna go on that back wall. I thought the couch was gonna go where it is. And you know what? It didn't work out. <laughs> Leave it to old not measuring to uh, realize. And my husband actually was like, "Huh? I don't think that's gonna work. I was like, what are you talking about? It's gonna work, it's gonna work. But you know what? It's kind of like a happy accident. Having the sideboard where it is now, I love it there. You know, we had to give a little switch up of what we had there, but that is totally okay. It is like a week later. It took forever for that print to get Printed. I don't know, it took like over a week, which is crazy. I wanna put the finishing touches on the living room. We have been living with the layout that you guys, I don't know if you've kind of seen it yet. I don't think you've really seen it. So we've been living with this layout for two weeks now, actually. And I feel good about it. I feel like we have a small space. Anyways, let's put the finishing touches in this living room.
quickly wanted to talk to you guys about this situation. Some of you might wonder where the chair is. We still have it. We're still deciding. We want to put it here. We had it here for about a week, but let me just show you guys kind of the issue. <laughs> Our dining room is right there. Like it's a little messy right now, but uh, it's right there. <laughs> And when we had the chair, it was fully blocking our fireplace. So, and then of course, it's like right by where my son <laughs> drops food 24 seven. So it feels a lot nicer to have it open like this. Ideally in the future, we could get a really cute, like small sitting chair that could go there. Obviously, I have considered moving the tree into the corner, but that would require scooting the entire couch down. The layout I've chosen is for a reason. We have tried other options. We've been living with this and we feel like this is the best. I just wanted to explain that. I tried to keep, I mean, you guys could tell, I kept like extra decor down to a minimum, which is intentional because there are toys around this living room all the time. I am a mom and I don't love a bunch of knickknack, like pointless knickknack decor around the house when it just fills up with toys. So it feels nicer to me to just like when it's clean, have it look really fresh and almost just a little bit empty. Maybe you, like, is that weird? It's not empty. There's, there's stuff everywhere. Without further ado, are you guys ready to see how this living room makeover turned out? A lot of love, a lot of changed plans, but I'm really happy with how it all came together and so is Sam. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed today's living room makeover. Thank you again, Article, for sponsoring and partnering with me. If you enjoyed today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. As always, you can subscribe for more of my everyday life. Follow me on Instagram at emilyface22. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye!